today we looked at more problem solving using the coordinate grid. And what we did today was we looked at tables that gave us data or some information and then we created ordered pairs out of them and plotted them on the coordinate plane and we then answered some questions about said data. So, here's what your homework looks like. Let's just blow this gr blow this grid nice and big, and then we'll go over the questions. So it says, Clay reads the same amount of a book each day. The table below shows how many chapters of the book he has read at the end of the day. Write the data from the table as ordered pairs. Plot the points on the grid and connect them in a line. Use the graph to answer the question. So... I'm going to label this. This is going to be your X because, look, end of the day, this is our X axis. Your X axis, the title of the line tells you it's the end of the day. And then it says chapter, chapters read on the Y. So this is your Y axis. I'm writing that in orange. Y axis. So this is Y. So, what are my ordered pairs going to look like? Well, we know I first write my x, so 1 and 3. You need to do the rest, so I'm going to check mark that. Then I know I need to plot it. So, if I'm going to I'm going to plot in a different color just so you guys can so I need to go over 1 and up 3. That's not that. Let me zoom in real quick. Zoom back out. So, you need to do the rest. Once I'm done plotting them all, I'm going to have a line graph. Then you need to make a line graph. I'm not going to plot the points because I want to see you do it and make sure you have a line graph. So it's going to look probably something like like this. But I need to see the points. It should not be just a green line like that drawn. So if we look at the questions then at the bottom of our page. So you'll have yours in front of you. I need to reboot up. It says between which two days did Clay finish reading chapter five of the book? So I know day one, he read three, and then day two, he read six. He ended up on chapter six. So between days one, oops, between days one and two, he read chapter five. About how many chapters had Clay read halfway through the fourth day? So that'd be day three and a half. Then it says, if the book has 17 chapters, on what day would Clay complete the book? I'm going to give you a hint here. Look at your Y's and see how much they jump. You have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So if there are 17 chapters, when is that going to happen? How am I going to get to se from 17 to 15? So, then you need to explain what you did. So, I want to see, I, blah, 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 whatever you did. I counted, I guessed, I, but it shouldn't be a guess because there is a correct answer. The bottom, round the following numbers to the nearest hundredth. So, remember our 
remember our base 10. So here we go up to 10s. So here's your 10s, 1s, a decim decimal point. Tenths. Now, Ms. DeBoer always makes sure that she shows you that TH because that is your tenths. Hundredths. Thousandths. So the nearest hundredth. So if I'm looking at number five, and remember, one to four, round down, and the numbers before it stay the same, the number stays the same, or... 5 to 9, you round up and the number changes to the next number. So if I'm looking at 546 thousandths and I need to round to the hundredth, I'm going to look at 6. That's not the best highlight. 6. So, 6 is between 5 and 9, so I'm going to round up and change 4 to a 5. So my answer should look like 0 decimal point, 50 five hundredths. Do the rest on your own.